such an active weather system here, and I know we've been breaking records when it comes to how early we've been seeing this. And the one thing we have to remember is that it's just the beginning mm -hmm. yeah. of hurricane season. We've still got historically the busiest part of hurricane season coming up, which would be mid to late August, pretty much all of September and even the first half of October. So we've got to stay vigilant. We've got to stay alert. Don't panic, but just keep in mind this could happen at any point. But of course, we are here tracking it to get you through it safely and make sure that you are prepared. But of course, we did get hit yesterday and so many folks are still cleaning up from all of those large trees that were knocked oh, down, all of the road. power outages, there's so much going on, a lot of debris still Thank out of there on the roads. Us. It seems like when I was driving in, most of the traffic signals were not working. So traffic lights out, just a lot of inconveniences. And of course, the power being out is a big concern because we've got a lot of intense, dangerous heat out there. So as you're cleaning up, I just wanted to remind you of a few key things. Don't push yourself. Don't strain yourself. You don't have to get it all done at once. Take frequent breaks and take your time doing it. You don't want to do something where you could get sick, you could get a heart attack, you could get heat exhaustion so just really take it easy as you try to clean up after barrel you want to be careful with chainsaws make sure you wear protective gear stay away from fallen power lines you don't want to be shocked so that is certainly something that you will want to remember as you're out there trying to clean up and the best time to clean up of course is when it's the coolest which will be early in the morning or at nighttime of course you don't want to be out there during the hottest part of the day here's the good news at least we've gotten rid of barrel it is racing away from us it's now actually lost tropical characteristics now up towards st louis missouri with winds of only 30 miles per hour it's going to race up into canada believe it or not over the next few few days as a post tropical cyclone. So we don't have to worry about any additional super heavy rain or strong wind from barrel, but barrel is still producing the high risk for tornadoes up around Nashville and parts of Indiana and even into Ohio and even some of those showers and storms rolling across parts of Alabama and Georgia. We do have a few showers and storms getting closer to our area over towards San Antonio and getting close to Austin. I think most of that stays out of our region, but we are still dealing with a high risk for rip currents. For those of you brave enough to maybe venture out to Galveston Beach after a hurricane, but keep in mind, it is still pretty rough out there. We've got red flags flying for Galveston, so certainly not great conditions for a dip in the water at the beach. We also still have that heat at advisory that has been extended through 8 p.m. tomorrow. In fact, triple digit heat index value is expected through 7 p.m. and that feels like temp will be in the 90s likely through midnight. We do have increasing chances for rain, which will provide relief, but that's also going to mean a problem if you got roof damage. So make sure to get those tarps, cover those roofs because those rain chances will be increasing for Friday and especially for Saturday.